A web of cases against a journalist and fact checker and alt news co-founder Mohammad Zubair he now faces fresh action in seven FIR six of them in the state of Uttar Pradesh alone now the UP police has also set up a special investigation team that is going to probe all these charges against the journalist this on a day when he got interim bail in one case but remains in jail for several others the Delhi bail hearing in fact was adjourned only because the public prosecutor wasn't there Most Most of these cases are uh, about hurting religious sentiment and inciting violence. Fact checker, journalist, and alt news co-founder Mohammad Zubair, arrested 15 days ago today, got relief from India's top court. However, because of an expanding web of cases, he will continue to stay behind bars. In the first case, by the Delhi police for a 2018 tweet in which his bail hearing took place today. in the second case by the sitapur police in uttar pradesh for calling three hindu seers hate mongers for which he got extended bail today and the third case by the lakhimpur police in uttar pradesh for calling out a news channel for their alleged misleading coverage of the israel palestine dispute for which he is yet to seek bail in the supreme court today the up police's lawyer wanted time to file their response after which the judge extended the bail till further orders with the next hearing in early september this whole issue of uh, prosecuting journalists for protesting against hate speech will be decided by the supreme court like i said the persons engaging in hate speech have all got bail after getting bail they come out and they do hate speech again that's a shocking situation and all this is because the police support hate speech in this country in delhi's patiala house court bail plea of zubair came against the fir of delhi police where he is facing allegation of hurting sentiments through a tweet in 2018 zubair's argument against the delhi police's case is that what he tweeted in 2018 was based on a 40 year old movie many others have also tweeted it also the government has the power to get twitter to remove this But crucially Zubair's lawyer cited a Supreme Court order in another case just 24 hours earlier where it said bail must be the rule and jail the exception the lawyer added that these orders have to be enforced by the law of the land the case in Delhi's Patiala House court has now been deferred to the 14th of July as the public prosecutor was unavailable for arguments today some relief from the top court but for now there is no end to zubair's days in jail yesterday a court in up's lakhimpur sent him to 14 days of judicial custody over his tweet against the news channel's coverage of a religious issue in new delhi with saurabh shukla this is sukirti devedi for ndtv